They filed past the first lady every step they took, speaking of the difficult journey that had brought them here. Over 300 sets of parents arrived at the Safaricom Stadium in Kasarani with their two-year-old children to celebrate a milestone. Children who had been born to HIV-positive mothers, all of them now HIV-negative. Researchers found that between 2013 and 2015, the rate of mother-to-child transmission of HIV and AIDS in the country dropped. In 2013, there were 12,940 new HIV infections among children. By 2015, the reported cases of new HIV infections from mothers to their children stood at 6,613. It is encouraging to note that of the 79,000 HIV positive pregnant women in 2015, there were only 6,000 new child infections, a drop of 50% of from 12,000 in 2013. I want to note that the data that is there is 2016 data, where we had only just under about 4,000 new infections, and 59,400 women of the 72,000 pregnant women were actually reached with EMTCT, meaning interventions for prevention of mother to child, including follow-up to ANC, including prophylactic treatment to ensure that we optimize the available resources. This now putting the country on course for its next goal, the elimination of mother to child transmission of HIV and AIDS by 2021. A position reinforced by the First Lady through her Beyond Zero campaign, HIV transmission from HIV-positive mothers to their babies can happen during pregnancy, labor, or breastfeeding. However, with access to HIV treatment and care, the risk can be brought down to just 1%. The launch of the guidelines welcome news to Caroline Ngessa, the 31-year-old mother of three tested positive for HIV over a decade ago while pregnant with her second child. Na ile si kama saa hii unaongeleshwa. Ile ulikuwa naambiwa uko negative, uko positive, ndio hizi dawa enda umeze. Hivyo Things were easier when she had her third child. Access to information and health services ensured all of Caroline's three children are HIV negative. Caroline now acting as a mentor mother to expectant mothers struggling to come to terms with their diagnosis. Among other things, the revised framework highlights the need to bring healthcare services closer to the people, the country committing itself to work until every mother and child is accounted for. Wilkis Anyabo, The Big Question.